Now it's great time for me. My family think that it's my last flight in space. I am like men who say never say never. Who knows? I ask the God and he do not answer me, me yet about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's very great time. And it, this time began uh, about two years ago and change and change, many changes was when we began our training, when we continued our training. My five time in space and five time in station. It's real great station, real great program. And I am very lucky man and I am very lucky cosmonaut because each my crew it was the best one. And now I would like to say thank a lot, the best crew in the world. Somebody may say that it's only one crew in the space now, <laughs> but guys, it's the best crew. First of all, I would like to say thanks a lot to Jack Fisher. He works with me. He is very young when he began like a young astronaut. Now he is a very experienced man and maybe one of the talented astronauts in the NASA. Not in the NASA, maybe in the world. For a second, I would like to say thanks a lot to Paolo Nespoli. We began working and training together. We were a backup crew member. Then we changed vehicle, changed the, <laughs> changed the <laughs> expeditions, anything else. But we are in space and Paolo are with us. And I am very, very lucky man with him. I would like to say thanks a lot to Sergei because we with Sergei, it's second time here. And like Jack, Sergei was a talented was a talented cosmonaut. Now he is very experienced cosmonaut, and I hope he continued his uh, experience in space. Who knows? And many people ask me about my new crew. Uh, Fyodor, uh, it's only men in your crew. It's impossible for you because each time you flowing and uh, in uh, with you was a woman, somebody like this. And what happened? I told maybe I am too old, but time again changed and I have the brilliant woman in the world, Peggy Annette Witson. And we met with her third time in space. I just a little changed my face, my body, he looks great <laughs> each time. And this time it's very important for me because it's a new station commander, Randy Bresnik. Randy, thank you very much. You work our backup crew member and I know about you professional. But guys, I have special, it's not guest, special member for this ceremony. And I invite this special guest because it's impossible for me to be only alone here. Peggy, please, coming and stay with me. Thank you, ma'am. Randy, I am working not maybe so hard, but I want to be the crew be together, all together. We do not have nationals here. We had great party, great time. Are you ready for this rule, for continue this rule? Maybe Peggy ask something else. Well, Randy, I, I think you need to also carry on the traditions of having a good time. Uh, I think you should continue uh, dinner and movie night <laughs> because I think that's a great tradition to have. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm confident that your crew is going to be successful. So, Randy, and if you understand about your rule, please say something. Vault for me, me for us, for everybody, because it's maybe a new tradition. Taking command of the International Space Station, I receive the symbolic ISS key on behalf of our crew and declare the following. With the knowledge and skills acting as one team, 
we will implement the flight program with true commitment, assure operating efficiency and integrity of the service and science equipment, safety of crew and station. We will guarantee strict execution of the flight rules and the crew code of conduct. Considering that ISS symbolizes open and collaborating relationships with co-partners, we will fully encourage further interaction and exploration and peaceful utilization of space. Thank you very much, Randy, because I thought then each commander should have the key, not only from station, from soul, each of your crew, from everybody. I thought, what should be the special key yeah, for commanders in station? And I remember the station expedition began from number one. Now it's 52 and continued with 53. And each expedition opened the door to station and opened the door with key. It's like Soyuz key. <laughs> so, Munich, so Houston, Huntsville, Munich, Tsukuba, Moscow. We with Peggy and with everybody here invite you the new station commander and give him the key from station. Randy Bresnik, welcome on board. Thank you very much. I will... Uh... I don't know if I'm supposed to wear this the whole time. <laughs> All right, here comes a, a good view for everybody. Yes. Oh. Well, thank you very much for that, Fyodor, Peggy, Tufish, Paolo, and Sergey. Um, we have a tradition in the Marine Corps that the incoming CO or commander's comments should be shorter than a fighter aircraft in afterburner on the catapult. So I will, I will be brief. Um, it was just you know, one week ago when Hurricane Harvey's weather started to be uh, felt on Texas shores. And since then, there have been you know, historic rainfall that you know, they say Houston hasn't seen in a, in a millennium. And during that time, you know, the Johnson Space Center NASA team showed incredible dedication and fortitude to make sure that they executed their job so that we could be safe up here and you know, work up here while they monitored and controlled this space station for us. You know, that same NASA spirit is what allowed, you know, initially us to get to the moon, to allow all the things in space, but that allows our international partnership now for this international space station and eventually what's going to be steps and footsteps on Mars someday. And I just want to say that, you know, we will do our utmost to endeavor to show the same dedication and fortitude every single day during increment 53, the same dedication and fortitude that you guys exemplified every single day of increment 52. I am humbled and I am thankful um, for this honor and privilege to be accept the responsibility as the uh, commander of Humanities International Space Station uh, here in low Earth orbit. And I could not uh, be more blessed to have a finer crew to be able to serve with uh, during our increment. So while my comments are brief, what is not brief is the experience that you guys represent that we're losing tomorrow. Tomorrow, we lose 1,474 days worth of space flight experience. And if you do the math, that's four years and two weeks of space flight experience that you guys cumulatively have together. That is 673 days for Fyodor Nikolaevich. Peggy, eight days behind, right there at 665. Two fish, no slouch himself at 136. Still 90 days more than I've got right now, so <laughs> you're doing well. You're doing well. And when you think about the days of training that it takes for every single day here on orbit. That four, that four years and two months comes across as many, many lifetimes of astronauts and cosmonauts, normal astronauts and cosmonauts. And the effects that you guys will have, you know, the work that you put forward and the effects that you'll have on human spaceflight's future will be felt for many, many years to come. 
and we are in your debt for the supreme dedication that you guys have to the human mission of exploration. So we would like to say, Agronne spasiba, Jaja Fyodor. E spasiba, Mr. Jack. And Domaragato Gozaimas, American Space Ninja, Peggy. We would like to wish for you Godspeed and Nyaka Pasaka. May you have a soft landing. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Space Ground One for Expedition 53.